Hey, what's going on, everybody? Extreme Car Breaks. I am late for Throwback Thursday, so we're going to knock one out today. Sorry, I was stretching. I dropped one of my gloves on the floor, but um, had a little bit busy week. I got a card show I'm preparing for for this weekend, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, so a lot of running around. I didn't get back in until it was a little bit later on Thursday from measuring out everything down at this uh, uh, inn. So, but you guys are more welcome to come and everything. So, what we're doing today, 87 Donruss, and I'll flip it this way, but it's uh, BBC E sealed, bam. I kind of have this camera a little bit different. I've been playing around with it for a while, so we'll see what can do, what we can do. Some of the big stuff in 87 Donruss, oh wait, these are opening days. You got the Bonds rookies, of course. This is just stuff I had. I'm getting ready, like I said, for a show, so I get everything I can out. Um, you got Maddox. I think his PSA 10 is probably the most sought after, I'd say, for price value into it. And I'm not too sure. I just remember those two offhand, Maddox and Bonds. So I'm sure there's a couple more that's on the PSA checklist. But we're going to go through, see how we do. This was a cheap box, and... You know, well, let me put it this way. It's not a cheap box, but what it cost me in a rast when it was cheap. So, you know, you see what happens. You never know. If you pull a dice card out of this and everything. I don't recall any errors from this year that's going crazy. But you do have the puzzle pieces and made this cool Clemente right there and everything. And guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, we'll be back live with Bowman Chrome this week. How to think. This is week of Bowman Chrome. See, my dates are all messed up. I'm trying to think where I'm at. Well, let's see how we can do onto this. <laughs> Bottom, we have Dale Murphy, Conseco, Reardon, and the Clemente puzzle piece. Now, I was going to ask you some of you guys. I know some of you guys do a lot of eBay. Has anybody actually switched over yet to the... Uh, new payment program for like eBay's not like they're basically sending it to your bank account for you. Um, if you have put in the comments, I'm just curious on how it's going for you. Cause I've heard a lot of mixed reviews onto it. And if you remember like when you first opened your account, you had to wait till the item was received. And then you, it was usually like, I don't know, 48, 72 hours later, they would release the payment to you. Well, I'm hearing that's what eBay's doing. My thing is, I mean, eBay's a good tool and everything like that. But you're already killing us with the 10% fees, basically, for sports cards, while freaking, like, coins and stamps, I think, are, like, four and a quarter or four and a half percent, something like that. So, you know, I might be moving and just doing stuff off the website. That's the only reason why I haven't done anything on the website, because we've been trying to figure it out. This whole time. Puzzle piece. So let's take a look at this stuff. <laughs> Anderson. As you can tell, this was a very hard set with borders being black. Diamond Kings. I believe this is the first year Don Russ did the Diamond Kings was 87 too. I would really have to go back and do some research, but I'm pretty sure. If you guys know, you can put in the comments down below. Hey, we're getting close also to 2,000 subscribers. He's like 100 and I think like 90 more-ish, 80 more, somewhere around there. We'll do a big old giveaway. So if you subscribe to the channel, that way you get the alert for when I put up the 2,000 uh, sub giveaway. And it's going to be a flash to bang type deal. You might only get 24, 48 hours to go on that video, comment, we'll random it and get it out to... Um, the winner, Will Frazier. Kingman. I always liked the name Kingman back in the day. But like I said, this stuff here was really hard to grade. As you can see, the black borders onto it. Just very, very, very hard. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their weekend. I had a little function at work yesterday. Pretty beat up. I got home about... Oh, Probably about three-ish, and I had to uh, get the yard done in front. Got the old tiller out there, old strawberry diamond king. And how my back is whooped. Raphael Belliard. 
I saw Maddox and I stopped for a minute. I was like, wait a minute, that's not what the picture looked like from the day. You know, this guy here used to be pretty hot, and now nobody really goes after Palmero. Kind of crazy. Like I said, mostly we're hunting Maddox and Bond. There's a couple others that were on there. Maybe like Bo Jackson, if I'm recalling right. Um, maybe McGuire. No, McGuire was way earlier. My bad. His tops rookie was like 85 USA team. I kind of like doing these older wax boxes just to see. Remember when you were a kid buying these for like 35 cents? I think Fleer was the most expensive back in the day. I'm going to up the camera just a bit here, guys, so bear with me. There we go. I feel like I'm like trying to have my cards at a 45 degree angle there. Hey, Bo McCrome this week. It's being by box. I'm not probably going to break my team. Um, just because of the show itself, and that's going to take me out Friday night, uh, getting everything set up, and then pretty much today's Saturday. I won't lie, by the time I get home, I'm just tired. Ken Griffey Sr. So we'll do personal boxes. It's easier for me just to open, ship. There's no real sorting for it and get them out. Hobby's looking about buck thirty-five shipped a box. From C, it's about $15 cheaper than, uh, most of your retail thing uh, places. So that's so what we had a price set at. And we are going to stick to our price. Huh, that's like the same pack we just had a pack or two ago. What's funny is I still have the uh, 85 tops, like half the case next to me. I haven't put it uh, in a uh, box yet. I'm just way behind digging through stuff for the show and getting stuff going. And then I come home in the evenings. There's Palmero again right on top. This actually looks pretty decent. I mean, you do have a little bit of whiting on the left-hand side there. Right there, but... Looks pretty good for centering. I'm just going to push this off over to my one side. Wally Joyner. Dot, dot, Diamond King. I'm going to look for the Palmera real quick. So, um, hopefully uh, we can get the top Bowman Chrome out or sold out to you guys. We'll see how everything ends up coming about onto it. I forgot who I was looking for, Palmero, and I'm like, why have I not seen him yet? What's weird is that's a second Wally Joyner I just seen in here, too. Actually, I think all the... There it is. If I recall right, Don Russ and these guys, man, they used to do this by sheet. So, like, certain cards were in sheet A, B, C, might be a D and an E. So, but we already have two Palmeros. So we might not even see a Bonds in this. That's just the way it fell back in the day. I remember uh, being told this if we were in a flea market. And a guy told me, yeah, if you find one, it has, like, look, that's like the third Ken Griffey Sr., you find one has a bond, so you must just keep buying them because you'll get two or three more. If you don't, they were explaining about the sheets back then. I was like, no kidding. Just something stuck with me when I was a kid. And believe it or not, this was a Leaf brand on Russ back in the day. I don't know why I'm saving all the puzzle pieces now. David. Presley, Diamond King, Larkin. Is that? If this isn't his rookie, it's, it's 86. But I'm thinking, yeah, it's the blue. Blue back on 86. That might have been a flea. I'm trying to remember now. 
I remember Larkin was like very sought after flea markets. So one one quarter of the way done, no bonds, no Maddox. We do have two Palmeros. Let me ditch these puzzle pieces because we're not collecting them here. Remember as a kid, we're always trying to punch them out and put them together. I think we were more more happy about trying to complete the puzzle piece than the cards inside. Mookie Wilson. Gossage. Well, you definitely got some different ones in this. First time seeing these that stack. I wonder if it's by row. These sheets were. I'm trying to remember. There was a trick to it. Just like 89 upper deck. If you knew how the sequence was with how they spit out the cards, you could go straight down to the pack and pick out your Griffies if you could find a fresh box. Santiago Benito, rare rookie. If you guys see, I did a little video on YouTube. I used this thing called Filmora. It's a video editing thing. First time using it. I messed around. There it is. Bo Jackson. Thought it was this year. Rated rookie. I would come back at eight. Centering is what's going to get me left and right. So as you guys can see. There we go. The centering's just off. You can tell by the balls. It, it, not even the yellow lines if you look. But it's still a very, very, very nice card to have. Just be something for the show. Like I said, a lot of times, guys, if you guys see me opening stuff up here, that's not my eBay, you can hit me up, extremecardbreaks at gmail.com. And what I'll do is I'll put it out on the website, and you can pick it up there for right now until I figure out what this thing with eBay is going to, when they're going to force us to uh, pretty much say, hey, you have to use our payment method to get your money. Now, you can still pay with uh, PayPal, but now it's not like a PayPal to PayPal transfer, which really sucks. So... I think it'd be cool if they gave you the option, like, instead of having to go to your checking account or to your bank, that you could choose, yes, I want it delivered by PayPal. That would be a solution. So if you're listening to eBay, which I highly doubt it, Curry Pocket, but um, instead of having to go to our banks, why not just have it sent to our PayPal's? Many people would rather have that. I mean, I understand they want to take your money and do everything, but for having a chance to how you want it to come, you know, maybe you could have it come by Venmo, you know, instead of your bank. But give options on how you want your payout. And choose when you want to have it, too. I mean, like, if you want to wait till it gets, you know, two, three hundred, four hundred dollars $400 before you take it, then go for it instead of getting, you know, $10 this day, 23 this day. You know, let it rack up. You say, okay, I want to withdraw X amount of dollars from my eBay account over. And then they do it. I should have went live today with this. I just knew Spectre came out. A lot of you guys are over there watching the Spectre breaks. I don't want to. I mean, it's 87 Don Russ versus new Spectre. Kind of no brainer. Plus, I want to use the video editor after this. Pocket. So, really, so far, one bow, two palmeros. I'll tell you now, I won this. It's for six bucks. So, uh, really, hopefully, the, hopefully those there would uh, pay for what I bought into it. Mike Schmidt. 
Nolan Ryan, my man. Nolan goes over there. And any Ricky Hendersons I pull, I always give to Brian. So, Brian, if you're watching, I doubt you watched the whole video, but uh, I'll put the Rickies aside for you. I mean, I'm not going to, like, if somebody said, oh, I collect Bo Jackson, I wouldn't be giving away the rookies out of this to somebody. But something like this, I know somebody buys in a lot of breaks and stuff. I have no problem throwing them in your package. You're a big collector of guys. This is actually a pretty good box, or pack. Check this out. Saberhagen, Julio Franco, Sosha, Dwight Evans, Ryan Getty, Trammell, Robin Yunt. I mean, that, that stacked of guys right there. Gaetti. Really, really good pack there for uh, vets. Daryl Strawberry. It's about his fourth year. Yep. <laughs> Good old Bip Roberts. First name was Leon. I'm going to move this little stack here off to the side of uh, base. Halfway home, guys. Halfway home. Look at this Nolan here. It's Nolan Ryan, man. Very close to left and right's off, or top and bottom, but no one's going into my collection. And what I do a lot of times is I put these in here, and I'm going to get a PSA grading account so I can do bulk. And so what I'll do is say I have like 95 cards, <laughs> and I want to get them at the $8 rate instead of 10 I'll take like five dudes like this here, which I know is probably like a 7 and just grade it because it's a PC item. I don't know. I don't go crazy over Nolan Ryan like I used to when I was a kid. So people are like, who are hitting me up with one on one Nolan Ryan's like, I'll sell it to you for eight hundred dollars. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> it's cool to hit and have, but I don't chase Nolan Ryan like I used to. Kind of crazy, no berries yet, but like I said, it depends on the sheets. Bow, I think we definitely have a limited, maybe a bonds, maybe one in here. Tom Seaver, once it reads it. Dogs under me snoring, so if you hear something weird, it's her. She was like, oh, here, I want to come down. Eckersley. Had her out with me for a little yesterday, so he kind of got her. Yo, people don't want to hear that snoring. There we go. There's a Bonds. As you can tell, left and right's off on to it. You got a little bit of white on the corners. But overall, probably, I'd guess, maybe a seven. Be lucky at eight. So we did get a ball. Oops, and put the bonds in the other stack. Had bonds as late. Off to the side there. So definitely if I sold these out, if I break even right now, I'd say. I don't really, when I go to shows, I'm not asking like $10 for a bond. You probably get them for me for like three bucks. Ruben Sierra. Mm -hmm. 
I got some 89 Fleer we got to get opened up too here. So, uh, probably do that on this Thursday. If it's not extremely crazy, no pun there for the extreme word in there, but, uh, between Bowman Chrome and everything else going on. If not, I might just record it early and then put it up there. John Kruk. Sid Fernandez. Wally Backman. Playoff from his rookie. There's another Larkin. Yeah, I probably would never pay like 40 bucks for one of these boxes, to be honest. On these, this year, really, really hard year to get anything graded on with the borders. You can see, like, on the top there. I'll put it up on here just so you guys can see it's a hanger. Well, crap. See that? It's like an extra piece on the top. There's a couple of them like that. Mookie again. Gossage. Nikoro. Andre Dawson. You know, he's like seventy seven tops for his rookie. So look at all that waxing off these packs. Every time I clean it up, next time we open it, I'm just looking at it going, my gosh. Greg Maddox, there's our first one. Put him right here just so I can finish this pack out. So we did pull a Maddox. Our son are big time onto it. But like I said, people like these. They like getting the older stuff. Something a little different to have at the shows. I see a lot of people all with the newer stuff. And I, for some reason, I see a lot of people like looking at this older stuff that I've been bringing in. And I think it's just like the nostalgia from whenever we first started collecting. I mean, back then, I mean, I think the Bonds is were like, oh gosh, I'm guessing five bucks, probably if not more. Remember, 87 Tospo Jacksons were five bucks. Now you get them like a quarter pop. Larkin again. Harold Reynolds. I do not remember that Chris James dude at all. I've seen a lot of his rated rookies so far popping up. I think that's like the fourth one. Lance Parrish, Nicaro again, Dawson. 
Good vets from this year. Good vets. Just really bad they did black borders on this stuff. It makes, makes it a hard grade. These puzzle pieces have been stacking up again. Jose Canseco Diamond Kings. Two packs left. Can we pull another Bonds or Maddox or even a Bow? Rupert Jones, oh my gosh, it's the first time I've seen his name. I might have missed it earlier, just because he's on top now. Kevin Bass. Definitely a different sheet there those came out of. Last pack, guys. Last pack. We'll do a quick recapper. Alrighty. Let me get this out of here. So, this box, like I said, I won for six bucks. Um, there was nothing crazy invested into it. So... We always give it a chance to try to find something that's perfect centered on to these. I mean, it is harder. I mean, I'm just putting the palm arrows in the cases real quick. And I'll hit this recap in just about a couple seconds here. Alrighty, so for six bucks, basically we got two palm arrows. Red rookies, not bad. We did go Maddox. We got a bow. And we got one berry. So in reality, we made a couple bucks off the box. So, like I said, I would never buy one of these for full price to try to open up. But if you get a chance and you pay six bucks for a chance to win it, and you do, you can't go wrong with it. Unless you don't get any hits. Um, really, it's only a six buck loss versus... Uh, like 40 bucks all right guys again thank you for watching the videos as always i do appreciate it yeah we're close to 2,000 subscribers so make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video and everything wednesday bowman chrome these are the bonds as i had so don't mind those um and we have some XR football this week, too. I just happened to see it pop up over there on my calendar. So, also, I think I have three boxes of XR football. So, stop by. We'll open some stuff up. We'll do some bot personal box breaks. Everybody loves Bowman Chrome. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video, everybody.